if you're a small business like I am, so it's basically me and two others, um, we can't do everything. No, not one of us can do it. So it's a, it's a demarcation of responsibilities. Play to your strengths and find other people to help you do certain things. Uh, you might have to initially because you're feeling this thing through and it, and it's evolving in real time before your eyes. But if you've got growth aspirations, then it's basically finding people to do some of these things. Either just stop doing it entirely, only do it for a short period of time and then stop doing it. Accept that you're always going to have to do it or pass it on to somebody else. And that could be an employee or a third party. All right. So things like business development, who's going to go out and do the flag, wave, uh, flag raising and networking? Who's going to look at the competition to make sure that you got the offer right and then look at the strategy as a consequence of that? Who would be involved in looking for new ideas? And if you're making a physical good, who's involved in the supply chain? Who's talking to, you know, kind of the suppliers? And if they're making something for you, the whole management of the manufacturing process, that's a job in itself. Uh, there's There will be regulatory requirements for the majority of you. Are you doing that? Is that something you want to keep doing it? Conforming to standards is something that can be easily trained within uh, people within your team so is that one that you could pass on or is it one that you quite enjoy doing so talking about the management of manufacturing who's the buyer in your organization is that you are you sourcing or have you got a dedicated individual in there is that one that takes up a lot of your time and maybe somebody else should be doing that for you you've obviously got the branding if it's pivoting change of direction new products for new markets new products for existing markets there could be some implications on branding, so producing new content specifically for that. Are you getting an agency to do that? Is it your niece or nephews doing that? Are you doing that? Is that going to be a permanent solution? Are you the best person to do that? You know, some home truths here. You might be saving yourself 500 quid because think, oh, I'll do it myself. But actually, you know, think about the audience, what their expectations are about how you present yourself. And sometimes it can be better to bring an expert to be able to do that. You obviously got all the usual stuff on you know managing people and your year end and all that kind of good stuff that goes without saying but also the other bit of that is hr so who's, who's do, who does hr if you're employing people if you're building a business model that's going to grow are you employing a third party agency to do that have you signed up for a, a contract with a, an online hr bureau who provides you with that support or are you laboring over this yourself people are a premium they're hard to hold on to particularly the good ones so somebody has to do the nurturing and support of that. It's part of the due diligence of being a business owner. So we've got the two good ones coming up, raising invoices and chasing a payment. Is that an automated process or you get payment up front? We'll, we'll find that out later. And then, of course, you've got to pay for these things. So they're the kind of standard operational activities that any business will need to do. And I'm sure you're doing all of those, but it's more when you're thinking about moving forward in a new direction, which ones are you doing? You know, which ones do you want to keep doing and which ones in this new world that you're moving into should you outsource to somebody else? So the partner to this, so you can see we've just done key activities. The partner to that is our key resources. So they're, they're really a, they're a pair. So when you're building out the, like the things that you need to do to run the business and you won't necessarily list all 10 of these things. Some of these are obvious. There, it's a given. You don't need to put it into your canvas. You just need somewhere in a detailed plan, an organizational chart that picks these things out. But there could be certain key activities that you're, you simply have to do. Otherwise, the business model won't run.